Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tharf's Kitchen, and today we're bringing back the goggles. Wait, what? Oh, there's no crying, there's no cutting onions. Oh shit. No goggles, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> So the goggles are off, and let's get on with it. Today, I'm making something for the first time. I mean, that's what Tharf's Kitchen is about anyways. So, I'm making tiramisu, or tiramisu, or tiramisu. So here's what we've got. We've got a dark chocolate, a few bowls, three eggs, some coffee that we're gonna dip the sponge fingers, or lady fingers in. And we've got some cocoa powder and some vanilla extract, some mascarpone cheese, and some white caster sugar. And there we've got some audience right over here. To start off, I'm gonna separate the egg yolks and whites. Let's get cracking. What's the occasion? What wine are you trying to do? What's the occasion? Well, the occasion is I decided that every Sunday of, of December, I'm gonna bring back the Darts Kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Does that mean I get to benefit and not to pay the That's right, Tali. <laughs> so I'm gonna add 30 grams of caster sugar to the yolk. And now to this, I'm gonna add 250 grams of master pony cheese. These are egg whites. I know I messed up, it got some yolk in it, but at the end, you're gonna put it all together. So here we go, 30 grams of white caster sugar. And then I'm gonna mix this. Now that's done, I'm gonna add the egg whites, the whisked egg whites into the main mixture of the egg yolks and the cheese. And this we're gonna uh, mix gently. So we're not gonna use the mixer. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. All right, so now it's time to start soaking the sponge fingers or the lady fingers into the coffee. So the coffee, I made it a while ago and I let it cool to room temperature. So we're gonna dip them in, soak them, and start placing them across the tray. Right, now that's done, I'm gonna add the mixture that I have as another layer on top. It's my first time making it, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this texture. I feel like it's a bit watery from what I've seen, so hopefully when I put it in the fridge, it kind of settles down and becomes a bit more solid. So now I'm gonna start cutting up this dark chocolate into tiny bits, so we put chocolate flakes as another layer. So now that's done, we're gonna add another layer of soaked sponge fingers. Right, so that's done, and now I'm gonna put another layer of the mix. So now it's time to add some cocoa powder. Right, so I've added the layer of cocoa powder and now I'm just gonna put this in the fridge 
and wait for it to settle down. Hopefully it becomes more firm. All right guys, so it's time to try out the tiramisu. It's been two hours, but um, it hasn't really settled down completely. So it was kind of a mess. So I'm gonna leave the rest of it overnight and see what happens. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, needs to settle down a bit more. A bit runny. Overall. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes lovely. It tastes really good. Isn't it? We've just been really greedy and got you to get it out of the fridge before it's set. Oh. But it's fine because it's fucking it's cream, coffee and chocolate, so you can't really go wrong. Thank you. It tastes great man. I prefer it to the mince pies. Wow, <laughs> mince pies. You know what you gave them mince pies? You gave them a 9 out of 10. So you guys have already seen um, Alex and Tali's thoughts on it. Um, Harry didn't want it before bed because it's got caffeine in it, so she'll have it tomorrow. And yeah, um, what are my thoughts on it? Well, I agree with Alex and Tali. The taste was really good, but because we were a bit eager, we didn't leave it in the fridge for you know, a bit longer. I thought two hours would have been fine, but yeah, I guess not. Um, the texture was a bit runny, and when I, you know, scooped it out, I had to scoop it out, and I put it on the plate, it pretty much all fell apart, so presentation was just, it went downhill from there. So yeah, I was really disappointed with the presentation, but hey, um, it was my first time making tiramisu, and I really love the taste. So yeah, um, there, there's still a good chunk left in the fridge, so that will stay overnight and hopefully it becomes a bit more firm and Harry will get a really nice presentable piece and hopefully she leaves us some good reviews. And yeah, um, I'll also have some tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it is. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like in the end. So it's been like 24 hours since uh, it's been in the fridge. So yeah, um, it's a lot more firm and Harry's gonna try it out. What do you think of it? That was really nice. It's, it's really nice. But yeah guys, thanks for watching and peace out.